Okay, it's official. I already lost my headband. Good morning guys, welcome to today. I am in my pajamas, not had a shower. Our rooster is crowing, I love it. Uh, and we are headed out to take care of the horses, just me. I'm the first one up because I missed them yesterday. I missed them this winter. It's cool so we don't come down as often. We don't, you guys don't know, we spend hours with our horses every day. We just don't show everything because the girls love to just be with them. So today, I'm just gonna be with them. Hi, oh my goodness, you're dirty. Hi boys. Oh, hello, Finny. Do you remember me? Gabby stayed at Kaylee's house because they got back late. They stayed for the show at the Royal. I'm so glad we are officially finished with the Royal. Yeah, who knew I could carry all this grain in my left hand? Right, let's do this thing. Back it up, back it up. Good boy. See how good he is. Hi. Back it up. <laughs> Good boy. It's all Gabby. Watch this beautiful girl. You don't even back it up. Up, oh, back it up. Good girl. Look at all the poop. Can you spot the nose? Can you spot it? That adorable, cute, beautiful, beautiful nose. I wish. When Sam cut this door, I wish he had cut it here because then this baby mini would have a better view. Hi. Back it up, Missy. Do not pull it out of my hands. Hold on. Gracie always waits. She's such a good girl. Don't be a bad girl on camera. Oh, Gracie. Listen. Holy moly. Hey. Hey, get off of me. This is important for you to learn that I am the boss of you. There you go. Otherwise, all the viewers will think that you're not the boss, that I'm not the boss of you, and they will hate me. They will send me messages and messages saying, this is what you need to do to be the boss of Gracie. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, with the messy hair, the pajamas, and all the love, I'm so grateful in this horrible, freezing, cold, muddy mess that we call a farm. And so grateful to be here by myself with my horses, with our horses. Gabby's away, Sophie's sleeping. Sam's getting ready to come down and help me take the boys out. And I'm just so grateful. Like, even when it gets hard, find the, find the beauty. Find the beauty in the hard stuff. That is when you know you've got it going on. When you can see the beauty in the hard stuff. Right, Willow? Cute little girl. A lot of poop. Right, Gracie girl? Look at you. Uh, you know, I feel like... I feel like I never spend much time on Gracie. You guys don't get to see how much Gabby plays with her. But her turn's coming. Soon the boys are leaving. We'll have more time to film more specific videos. But yeah, welcome to today. It's about time you arrived. I already got half the work done. That was a joke, that was a joke. I'm grateful for Sam, he always comes down without me. I always stay and get my hair done and the house cleaned and let him do all the barn stuff. So I'm grateful that he even showed up. Oh, sorry Gracie.
This is about the time where I'm like, crap, we should have done a much better job of preparing for winter back when it was summer because I'm noticing like some things, like it's a mud pit now. Not as bad as some places, but still it's muddy. Ruby, back away from the horse poop. This is so crazy, you guys. I just boiled these things. These are the things I showed you in yesterday's video or last night's video. If you didn't see it, you might want to check out what we bought at the Royal. But these are the little things that you, after the, that you click the button and it turns into like a hot pad for your hands or your wherever you want to put them. I've got 10 of them. And we use these ones at the Royal because they're just so fun. The girls wanted to play with them. And I just boiled them for five minutes and they went completely back to the beginning again, to normal. I'm gonna take them today where we're going because I'm gonna see my grandkids and then let them try them. Technology is cool. Anyway, we are headed, we are headed out to um, pick up Gabby and go uh, to a family birthday party. You guys are staying here. Uh, Gabby's at Kaylee, so we have to pick her up. So these are called, I told you, Ariat Beaumont Pro, I think. They are tight and tall, which is what you have to do when you buy new boots, but um, I love they have this little thing here so when you do it up it holds it tighter and I love that they're lined this is what they're lined with they're really nice you guys I thought winter boots were always those like clunky big plasticky kind of ones that are harder to ride in but they don't they have nice actual field boots that are for riding like I love them I told Gabby that if she can prove to me that she will be good to these boots last year we bought her the clunky riding boots that were like a hundred bucks and she wore them out in like two months they didn't even last the end of the winter that's how badly she wrecked them and I told her if she makes these boots last these are five times the price and I said if she makes these last for the whole entire winter then i'll buy her whatever brand she wants for show season next year and i think she really loved the sham sam shield one. disaster has struck oh my gosh it's the worst thing that could happen happen to us give me the boots oh, it cost 450 dollars with tax so by the time it was like 457 or something and boot things. they're the same boot same foot same foot and the reason that happened was because when we tried we tried on an eight and a half and a nine and we were ready to put them on the back seat or put them back in the box the lady took them and she put that one in and she took it out of my hand and said yep this one goes in here because I was looking to see which one goes with which boot she said yep this one goes in here and she put it in there and I should have double checked now I have to try and figure out how to get the other boot I yeah, trouble, you guys. This is gonna be insane. Pray, pray for me. Okay, so this is Gabby's new sweater. It says Stormy Night. And it's this one, and it says Hunter. I am worried that it's gonna shrink up when I wash it. No dryer for that, baby. Anyway, we, we are at a birthday party. You guys, if you've been watching, if you're trying to see my cut, this is what I got. Oh, wait, it's not focusing. Yeah. Wait, it's actually D. Yeah, she got that the other day. You guys probably heard about it a million times. Anyway, we're at my nephew's birthday party. If you're an OG viewer, and it's under three oh band aids. If you're an OG viewer, then you guys know that we come every November to my littlest nephew's birthday. He is turning three. So we're here. Brooklyn and Jacob are going to be here, and it's a Halloween theme, so it's kind of dark. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys around. All right, so I'm in the kitchen with Julia. You guys know my niece, Julia, my beautiful Julia. Just think, yeah. <laughs> like one day soon, Gabby is, oh my gosh, Gabby, stand back to back. Back to back. Whoa, it is about to happen. How, t how old are you now, Julia? 19. Wow. Look at Gabby's new hoodie that she got. Turn around, show her the... Oh, oh, Stormy no. night. Hunter means, well that's what she rides. She yeah. rides Hunter. Oh, okay. So it's like her first sport pretty. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta look pretty. So it is a Halloween party and they rent this big hall. I'm gonna show you guys. That's what it looks like out there. See? For a little guy to turn three. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, we're gonna eat. She's got all these cupcakes. <laughs> Candy apples, my niece that is um, uh, her sister, always does Pinterest 
big Pinterest stuff. Anyway, yeah, so I came in the kitchen to video for you guys because literally we won't be able to see out there, but Brooklyn and Jacob are on their way and I'll video when they get here. going on the but the thing about fall is that it gets crazy busy for us you guys know Christmas and holidays for families it's like a big family thing so um, it's really fun spending today with my grandkids and my nieces and my nephew all the chores are done because Sam and I spent like a few hours in the barn this morning and um, we're gonna get home it's gonna it's gonna take us about an hour to get home and we're gonna end the vlog right here but before I do, I have to tell you guys something crazy that Brooklyn said to me. I bought them a few things. I brought them with me. I bought Brooklyn some riding boots and I bought her um, a, a briar book. Do you guys remember them? You probably have seen them. They're hard covered books. They're like a grade two level reading book and it's kind of like a small chapter book for little kids. And I bought it and it was called Belle. My kids grew up on them. Sophia learned to read in those books. And so she was reading, we were reading it together. And she looked up at me and she said, Nana, you are the queen of the horses. And I was like, oh, I am the queen of the horses. I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, the girls really are the queen of the horses at our barn. And it's because they learned about horses before I learned about horses. But in Brooklyn's eyes, Brooklyn's six year old eyes, Nana is queen of the horses. And that filled my heart so much when she said that because she's gonna grow up with me knowing more about horses than her. and and it's amazing that I'm gonna get the opportunity to teach her about horses. I talked to her mom about learning to uh, take lessons at the barn around the corner from them and I told her I'll pay for them and so she's probably gonna start those in the spring when it gets warm and so I'm excited for whole for so I'm really excited for Brooklyn's entire journey and being able to share horses with not only my girls but my granddaughter as well. Anyway that is it. See you guys later. Queen of the horses here. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.